Hey, what's up guys? This is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. In this video, we're gonna be looking at editing lists and repeaters on the mobile view of your website on Wix. We have a little shopping website here. Now to add a repeater or a list to your site, you're gonna go over to the plus button on the left side uh, toolbar. Inside of that, we have lists and grids. And then we have tons of different choices for repeaters. I believe I went ahead and added this one here that's like a staff directory type of list. And I went ahead and clicked and dragged it out here and added it to my desktop site right down here below some of these products. So we have four people in here with their headshots, their names, titles, and then a little sort of description paragraph for each one. When you add a list to your desktop version of your site, it's automatically added to your mobile version. So when you go up to the upper left hand corner here, you see switch to mobile, click on that and it's gonna switch you to the mobile view of your site. And we can scroll up and down once again, and we'll find our list here at the bottom. So it reorganizes that list and sort of in a very responsive way, adjust the items in it to fit your mobile site. Now, this might not be exactly how I want it to look on my mobile side. So what we can do is actually edit which of these items appear on our mobile site and how they appear. To do that, I can click in here and click on each of these elements individually. So for instance, if I don't want to add the description on the mobile site, I can actually click on the description element and click the hide element icon. That's gonna hide it and show it over here in our hidden elements. So you can always bring it back by showing it in the hidden elements toolbar section, but it does hide it from our page. So now we don't have that description on any of our items here in our list, but on the desktop version, it's unaffected. So it stays over there. In the same way that all of these are left justified, if I go back to my mobile version, I might not want them to be left justified on mobile, I might want them to be centered. And with lists, since it affects each item as a group, I can just adjust the design of this first line here. So I can take this text, go into settings, adjust the font size if I want, but really I just wanna adjust the alignment of it. And that's gonna center it up and it centers it up for each one. Same thing with art director here, their little title line, I'm gonna center that. So I like that design a lot better here than uh, the left justified version. But on my desktop side, it's going to stay as left justified. So any edits you make on the mobile side are not going to carry over to the desktop side. That's it for lists on the mobile version of your site. It's pretty simple, actually. When you have those items in there, you can go into the elements, realign them, redesign them, or show or hide them as well. Um, and that's only gonna affect the mobile version of your site. So you can really customize and tailor the look to be correct for your mobile version, resizing elements, uh, scaling up text, adjusting the alignment uh, versus the desktop side. It's gonna remain unaffected over on the desktop side. So I hope that, uh, hope that helps you a little bit when you're editing your mobile version of your site, especially when you're adding lists and repeaters like this. Subscribe for more tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.